All right, welcome back, everyone, to another week and uh, another update on my portfolio. So I'm doing this update um, after hours today. Um, I didn't have time to do it during the day. Um, so I'm going to give you guys a rundown of what happened this week. Um, so for today, you guys can see we're up twenty two ninety seven for the day, and after hours another thirty. Uh, for the week, I'm down uh, 279. The month up 576. Let's see, three months down 1400, 1300 for the year, and overall 1348. Um, what I did this week, I did purchase about $96 of uh, Ford. So let's see, I think I bought about 20 shares. When did I buy this? Um, yeah, I bought uh, about 20 shares. We had 115. So it cost me about $96. Uh, it was at around 484. So it has gone up. Um, still, stock uh, the Ford stock doesn't pay a dividend yet. They're suspended for now. But I think they still... Um, they, they'll come back. And I know the CEO this week purchased... Um, a million dollars worth of uh, shares to show that the company is still strong. Um, so I still believe in Ford. So I'm going to keep purchasing Ford. And um, another update I, I wanted to give you guys was my April's uh, total dividends that uh, we made um, for April. So as you guys can see, let me scroll through this. So starting April 1st, we had 18 cents and so on. I'll scroll somewhat slow so you guys can see it was actually a slow month for april uh similar to january i just got to purchase more stocks that are uh paying in these months because i want to hit a hundred dollars per month um every month so as you guys can see um i didn't make that much the total for the month of april was only seven dollars and 99 cents um the coming month of may it's going to be a lot more. As you guys can see, Verizon paid and AT&T paid. So just between those two, what are we? What is that? $18 about. EPD is going to pay up. So we should be close to hopefully about $30 for May. Um, but another thing I wanted to run another scenario by you guys, just a hypothetical uh, with AT&T. So at and I'm planning on getting more shares, but as we go every week, I can only spend $100, $100. So as I said, this week I spent $100 on Ford. So I bought 20, uh, 20 shares of Ford. Maybe next week we'll pick up more at and but let's, let's run a scenario on at and So just thinking of how much we would make, um, how much you would need to be able to pay your cell phone bill uh, let's say you have AT&T or whoever you have, but you have enough shares of AT&T to pay your cell phone bill every month. So technically you would have a free, not free, but a paid cell phone bill with your dividend income. So um, as you guys can see, can see uh, AT&T right now pays 52 cents per share per quarter. So that's four times a year. So let's uh, let's get the calculator out and see. So you guys can get an idea. So they pay 52 cents per share per quarter. So we'll multiply that times four. So we have $2.08 per year. So let's remember that number. So let's say your monthly AT&T cell phone bill is $100 times 12 months. So it's 1200 bucks. So 1200 divided by $2.18 because that's what you get per year um, on per uh, dividend. Uh, so I'm sorry, per uh, share of stock. So let's say divided by $2.08, you would need 576 shares. Let's say 577, 577 shares of AT&T um, to be able to cover your cell phone if your cell phone bill was $100 per month. So I know at and is a, it's around 29 and change. So let's say $30. So if we do 577 shares times $30, you would need 
$17,310 invested in AT&T, and this would earn you in dividends, only in dividends, $100 a month, as long as they keep paying that same amount of dividends. So if you think about it, $17,000 is a lot of money, but it's also not a lot of money. I mean, a car, a brand new car costs sometimes double this amount. And just think, you could, you know, if you buy enough shares, eventually of AT&T, you'll get $100 a month. All right, guys, uh, this is my quick update for the week. Um, if you have any questions, comments, put them below. And please don't forget to subscribe or hit the like. And um, I will talk to you guys next week. Thank you.